Hi everybody and welcome, welcome along to a new project. It's always exciting when it's a new project, isn't it? Um, this time it's, go it's kind of around sewing, the theme of sewing. And so we are going to sew all our pages. But you don't have to. If you're not a sewer, glue them. But I'm using fabric and stitch. You can use paper and glue. You know, it's... Uh, they're interchangeable. Anyway, anywho, let's get on with... This is the binding. <gasps> I have never tried this before, so I don't know if it works. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure it should. I'm pretty sure it should. But let's make this first, and then we'll see where we go. So, I want... One, two, three, four, five pages five inner pages and they go like this down there and they stick on there I think this will be familiar to anybody who's used to making mini albums um, and then it goes the other side of the V and there we have sort of one page you know the two are joined up but what I intend to do is attach them down the sides and make pockets in the middle. It'll all become clear. Don't worry. I'm sure it will become clear. So for each page that you want, you need to allow an inch. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's five inches. And then to attach the front and back cover is another inch. So that's five plus two is seven. Seven inches. And I have decided to make mine six inches tall. So it's similar height, well, it's the same height as most of the accordions, apart from the Edith, uh, which is a bit taller, but it's six inches tall. So what you need to do is uh, grab yourself two different, well, they can be the same, I mean, but two, um, I'm using craft card, which is fairly sturdy. And then for my inner bit, I'm using craft paper, which is fairly thin. You can use whatever you want. You can use any scrapbooking paper or card, um, anything, anything that takes your fancy. The only thing I would say is this, it's possible that you will see it down in there. So, you know, something that you, you won't be ashamed of if you can see it. Um, and this, well, this is going to give us this, the outside and the, top of the spines so I, I just quite like the idea of using craft but like I say you can use whatever uh, scrapbooking papers cards whatever you fancy so let's get the scoreboard out this definitely measures six by seven that's great that's where we want to be so with it tightly pushed into that corner I'm going to score at one And then every half inch up until the last inch. Now, as I say, this is fairly thick uh, craft card, so I'm scoring quite heavily here. And it didn't crack at all when I made the uh, the prototype one, so I'm hoping. It's not going to crack now. That's the problem, isn't it? I would have made it out of Timmy paper, but Timmy paper sometimes can be a bit inclined to crack. Not so the new backdrops. They're a different beast altogether. They're much better. Um, but the original scrapbook pads that you made, they really can crack. So six, uh, five and a half... I'm scoring now and then six and that's it don't score anymore lovely and then we're going to do the same with this one so one one and a half two way didn't mean to do that Two and a half, three, ooh, 
This wants to tear, don't tear. Three. Three and a half. Four. Four and a half. Five. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The tree pollen around here is ridiculously high. Five and a half and then six and then leave that last inch for attaching the cover. So we've got two, two pieces the same there. And now all we have to do is flippy flop them and score them, burnish them in. So I want this side, this sort of nicer looking side, to be my front. So I'm going to fold it, start folding it this way. And really make sure you've got it square because if you start off unsquare, you're going to end up really wonky. So just make sure it's square before you get your bone folder and score that in. And then it is just a concertina then. Then you want to fold the other one, the other, the next one, the other way. And so on and so forth. Always making sure that you've got it nice and square. Sorry about that noise, it's really loud, isn't it? I'll drop it onto the paper, then it won't be so loud. So I'm just going along each one, scoring it and making sure it's square. And take your time with it. No rush. Just gets a bit tricky to keep seeing where you are. But it's doable. I did it before, so it must be doable. This uh, binding I got from Jean at Inky Owl Studio. Um, I, I watched her do it. <clears throat> I can't even remember what book she was doing now, but I watched her do this binding and I thought, mm, that's very reminiscent of something I'd already done in a mini album, but should work. So let's give it a try. I really hope it does. I'd look a right Charlie if it doesn't. And the last one over like that. And that's fairly square, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad anyway. It's, you know, that's quite nice. Let's burnish that down. Right, so that's Phew, that's that. So this is what it should look like, really. Uh, your two inch pieces on either end, then one, two, three, four, five peaks, if you like. So I'm just going to crease that in just a little bit more. So there we have it. That's that. And then the same with this. Now I want this bit to be on the outside. So... Um, way do I need to do it that's the outside yeah so I need to bend that this way if you've got patterned <coughs> scrapbook paper or whatever it, prob it might even be more important that you get it absolutely make sure you're folding it the right way And 
just keep folding as accurately as you can. This is awkward in parts, but we'll get there. Well, it's Mr. Ev's birthday today, and <clears throat> we're not really doing anything. We've got to nip to Carlisle, <coughs> excuse me, to post something off. Um, but apart from that, there's nothing on the agenda, so maybe you'll want to go for a jaunt maybe he wants to stay at home and watch cricket i don't know but whatever he wants that's fine by me i'll just do this video and then i'm happy nearly there he got what he always gets for his birthday which is absolutely nothing it's a shame isn't it it's it really is a shame for him i'm thinking these aren't exactly accurate but let's finish them off and then see what's going on what's occurring okay so there are our fold so let's try and get them pretty accurate if we can I don't think we're far out. It's okay, I think. So let's burnish those in. Right, so what you do now is get the wrong side of your card facing and the right side of your inner facing and we're going to stick these down. That's why, amongst other reasons, this is why you need to be really accurate. Otherwise, they won't stick down on top of each other. And then it's just a curse. So that, that looks okay. They look like they're going to meet up uh, happily. So let's get some glue out. I can't remember what glue I used last time. Oh, and something else I need to tell you as well. Don't glue the flap. Don't glue the inch flap. We need it to be separate like that. Okay. So start gluing from the peaks and valleys and mountains and whatever they are you could do this with double-sided tape if you wanted to in fact i might it might be a a good way of going on i seem to be doing all right with glue so i'll carry on with that right this goes on the first one So make sure you're lined up at the sides and lined up there all the way down. Lovely, that's that. Let's give that a bit of a burnish just to help it stick. Okay, now on to the next one. Yeah, this is tricky, isn't it? It's tricky to do, but don't worry. It doesn't take that long. Okay, so this is the next one. I hope. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and push that right in right into that crease give it a good burnish down there we go so that's two done we only got five so we're getting there and then the next one Oh, 
I ordered some Tim Holtz um, bits and pieces uh, and I think they're coming today so I'm on the lookout watching for the postman so it's always a happy day when Timmy's stuff arrives so that's our third one in give it a good press down make sure it's glued nicely oh that's the postman he hasn't brought my thing oh no I wouldn't care that they've been sending us blinking text messages since 6.30 this morning to say that it was going to be delivered today. So, something's gone wrong somewhere. This one goes into the next one. It's this one here. Crease it up and give it a good press down yeah woke me up this morning at 6 30 to tell me they were going to be delivering it today and what's happened they haven't delivered it hmm kind of not impressed there There we are, and this is the last one. So stick that one down into that, into there. Do a good crease. Okay, so there we are. That's th that's the binding done. So what I would suggest is that you put the lid on your glue, definitely, and get your clips out and clip it so it's it's clipped into submission that's what I would say and then leave it for a good while to uh, you know set, stick up set up and There we are, that's that. So I'm just going to leave that. These two end pieces, don't forget to leave those separate like that because that's where the, the covers are going to go. So that's that. I'm going to leave that well alone and just go back to uh, this one just to show you how the cover works, really. Nothing else. Um... You need, I've used card to back mine onto. In fact, I've actually used Timmy card. Um, you don't need to use Timmy. You can use any scrapbook paper you want. I just, I, I don't know why, I just used it. And what happens with the cover is the front bit lies down like that. This bit goes onto here in between those two bits that we left. And we're also going to add an additional piece of card in there, just so it's a bit stiffer. So we'll have two pieces of card in that one. And then this flaps over, and then you put your other piece of card there. So that's how the cover works. So on the front, it's going to look like this. So... We need to bear that in mind when we make our pages because if we make them the same size as the rest it's going to come out over there and I don't want that. Oh, Postman's just come to the door. Yay! It's just parked up in his van. Oh, it must be so heavy he can't carry it. <laughs> it's not really. It's not that heavy. Um, so that's that. So that's it for this video. Go off you go and make your um make your hinge. As I say you can you I I 
just think the paper works quite well because you can bend it easily and so it goes into those folds quite readily. Um, but you know you do want it to be fairly sturdy so a fairly thick card I would suggest and then a thinner paper or something for the inside. So that's that's that. So if you make that I'll catch up with you tomorrow when we start to decorate pages etc etc. So bye for now. Thank you.